the great thing about the workshop, and I will say that most of the workshops um, or the events that I've been to um, that Humentum has hosted, uh, is that it is not only a either a refresher, but you're also continually learning. And so this particular course for me um, has basically um, kind of aligned um, the differences between the uniform guidance and part 700, which is what USAID operates under, uh, what those differences are and how um, some of the uh, overlaps um, or what changes can occur um, when funding gets mixed between different USG agencies. We can all read the regulations, but when you go through a course that kind of covers everything through, the interpretation and um, standard practices and things that aren't fully overt, that's where, where it kind of kind of clicks. And um, in my particular instance, uh, we have a number of institutions that um, are mixing funding for the first time. And um, we were able to effectively communicate what those changes were, why it's different, it's under a new regulation, how we message that to an institution that may not be familiar with what our regulations are for our government, um, as well as um, kind of explaining what's happening to our funder because they're wondering why hasn't this award started. Those conversations tend to be um, much more concerted. Um, they tend to be um, learning opportunities for everyone. Um, and it just improves our grant making process um, as well as uh, our sub award process. And then the mission moves forward. And so that for us, that, that, that's the end game. And, uh, and we have all our I's uh, dotted and our T's crossed in the right way. So the auditors are happy. <laughs> and that's a very big, important thing. <laughs> I think the other thing too is that um, one of the things I find is that when you go to courses, even if you know maybe uh, a lot of it, um, one person that was in the course that I was in, it was his fifth time attending. And he happened to the be the chief financial officer of another organization. And, you know, that just demonstrates that, yeah, even if you are an expert in this particular area, it's always good to network and learn from others. The Hearing Mountain continues uh, the work that they do. I mean, it's not just courses like I went to. Um, it's also the other um, opportunities to network and interact um, with uh, regarding specific subjects. So for instance, um, the roundtables with the USAID ombudsman, um, the uh, financial updates, um, even just roundtable discussions is to continue learning. Um, even if we haven't faced something yet, um, by going to these different courses and interacting with other organizations, um, sometimes we can provide a solution for someone else because we've already experienced um, a particular issue. Um, however, sometimes our issue is new to us, but maybe another organization is like, no, 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 you're misinterpreting something. Um, and then we all end up sharing the same definitions. Um, and because we're sharing the same definitions, then our solutions can be you know, readily resolved. And so I've always recommended it to my colleagues. Um, we also get energized because, you know, when you, when you interact with people who love what they do, um, it, tends to, it tends to rub off and it creates a very great environment, um, working environment to do that. Um, and to be excited about the work that you do, even if it is talking about audits. <laughs> it, Humentum creates an environment where it's a safe learning environment. So, you know, you don't have an auditor breathing down your neck if, if a mis you know, like if, if you made a mistake, you can correct your mistake without necessarily, um, having any dire consequences. You know, the, some of the best ways we learn is from our mistakes, but to be able to be corrected in a safe environment um, is, is, I would say, paramount.